delicious tea. All right. Uh, I am reviewing the movie Blackburn. And I am reviewing this because I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to review comics because the comics are... I, they can't just be good. Even the ones I like, it has to be something. So, <clears throat> Brightburn. This, I saw this trailer for this and I was like, oh, thank... Seriously, thank God. It's something to talk about. So, we are on Vlogmas Day 10. 10 days of this and 15 more to go. 15, yeah, something like that. Okay, 15 more days of Vlogmas to go. The trailer for Brightburn. So, Brightburn, as near as I can tell, is almost a beat for beat recreation of the Superman mythos. There's this family, they live on this farm, they're in a small town. They want to have a kid, can't have one, or it's hard to, or something. And a meteor comes down, and there's a baby in it or something. And um, the kids, they raise this child as their own, but it's like he's different. And then it turns out he has superpowers. Cue creepy music. I was excited about this for a couple reasons. One, I've said this plenty of times before, but the better, in my mind, the better superhero movies are ones where it's where it's a genre film with superhero elements. Like it's <sighs> thinking about it. Um, Ant Man is a heist movie, for example, and and so on and so forth. The idea of a horror superhero movie is very exciting to me. I was very, I, I was very titillated by the idea of um, New Mutants. They were that was going to be the horror superhero movie crossover, and I was like, ah, oh, this looks so cool, and it looks creepy, and, and this is just amazing. So awesome sauce. But then I heard they like canceled it or pushed it back, and maybe it's pushed back so far it's essentially canceled. All right, two, thing number two. So the idea of a superhero horror movie blending is a neat idea to me. As always, with anything, it depends how it's uh, executed. But James Gunn, like I was genuinely concerned, God, was that only this year? That James Gunn got, got fired from Marvel that he wouldn't have no work, and now I'm hearing like this is his like third project or something like that. Like the guy who worked with him, the Belko experiment, and uh, the director for this actually was working as an editor in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Like he's worked with this director before. They they know each other. They're pals, I guess. So that's cool. And I've said also before. There are problems with Superman that have never been resolved for me. Like, they're tricky to resolve, particularly if you don't acknowledge that they're problems. And, you know, I, I have entire videos about the Superman problem. This solves it in a canny way about just flat-out, full-on, Superman's the bad guy. Superman's the antagonist. And the, it's... Creepy. I mean, Superman gone bad is horrifying. And it's not even Superman's gone bad. It's Superboy. I mean, this is... That is such an interesting switch. Depending on how it's it's done, this could be an amazing film. There's definitely a Chronicle feel to it, and Chronicle is one of my favorite movies ever. So I'm very interested in what direction that goes. As far as... You know, do, how do you play that up? What, what? How do, how do you do this? And uh, the sh trailer is really short. Not a lot to it. We just see him as a kid. He looks like he's like, what, 13, 14, maybe? If that, if not even a little younger. Oh, I still have a cold, but I think it's going away, finally. I want to see where this film goes. I loved Chronicle. I was very disappointed that Josh Trank didn't get to make Chronicle 2 because 
even if he couldn't follow up his initial work, like he couldn't match the awesomeness of of Chronicle, I'd like to see him give it a try. I would have liked to have seen him at least try. You know, like maybe this could have been, even if the second one wasn't great, could have been followed up by a course correction with a third movie. From what I understand, the first movie was one of its unique qualities. It was incredibly cheap to make. It literally made a hundred times its budget. Even the biggest superhero film doesn't do that these days. So, but this is interesting to me, this Brightburn. You know, horror movie about a kid, about Superboy, evil Superboy, in essence. Like, if you take the Superman premise seriously, it, it's kind of scary. I think that's cool, but in my mind, it's, what if this movie does well? What if this movie does well enough? Like, it just does well enough <laughs> that they can keep making these. Like, it eventually blossoms into its own, like, franchise. And that that's fantastic. Do you just keep doing them? Do you do, like, uh, a, a, a dark, sinister detective with mental problems? Do you do a guy who can go super fast? Uh, it it blo the 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 very idea blows my mind. I'm intrigued with the idea of, look, superhero movies exist. There's a lot of them. There's an awful lot of them. Instead of trying to harvest one of these franchises, one of these continuities or whatever you want to call it, take a franchise, make it into a continuity enough and establish sort of a movie franchise out of it. Instead of that, let's just say that we're going to be close enough to be parody and just make our own thing, make our own guys, whatever. It's why I really wanted Chronicle to be like an ongoing series of movies. Like, you've given me a very simple premise. There's a weird thing underground. It gave some kids some superpowers. It's still down there, I guess. So what, what, how, where do we go from here? And maybe this could do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know. Excited with the prospect. And I think I'm just going to leave it there. I don't really have too much else to say other than I think if you want to make a franchise, don't dig something up. Just make your own thing. You're, you're better off. Like, there's no argument about, did it really match the this, that, or the other? Doesn't matter. You made up your own thing. That's even better. This could be really neat. I'm eager to see it. I'm definitely seeing this eh, Memorial Day weekend as when I think it comes out next year. Ne next year is going to be an awesome year for movies. It always seems to be. Anyway, that's me. I'm out.